Hi, today we're going to take a look at the angle-angle similarity postulate within a triangle. A postulate is a fancy way to say rule in geometry. Uh, the angle-angle similarity rule here says if I have two triangles of different sizes, this triangle has two angles and this angle has two of the same angles, by definition both of those things have to be similar and leaving the third angle to be to match up with each other. So let's take a look at our first pairing here. I have two triangles. Uh, they only share one angle here. So we need to find our missing angles. We know that all angles, all the all three angles within a triangle add up to 180, leaving this to have to be 75. So now that I share 50 and I share 75, by, by this rule, both those triangles have to be similar to each other. So let's come up with a similarity statement. So we're going to say triangle ABC is similar. That's just a little squiggle line. So what matches up with A? That's 55. Well, that's got to be this missing side over here, X. B is 75. That's Y. And C is 50, which is Z. I know that those two triangles have to be the same. Well, if I add all three of these up, my missing angle is going to be 55. And yes, both those triangles share all the angles. They are similar. Bottom one, underneath. Um, we have two right triangles down here. We know that everything adds up to 180. If I've got 90, 45, this has to be 45. Right off the bat, I know all we share is just the right angle here. I have a 46. Neither of these are 46. So these two triangles are not similar. And if we added up all of our angles, we would see that that's 44. Definitely doesn't make the, doesn't work. Uh, up top, I have two triangles here. Uh, those two triangles are formed by having parallel lines and transversals. So let's go backwards in time a little bit. Well, earlier on in geometry, we learned when we have a parallel line, and we know that because of these little arrows here, and then a transversal that cuts through those lines. They form alternate interior angles. So I know that angle A here is going to be the same as that angle E up there. And the same thing with B. Angle B is going to be the same thing as angle D. Because we have two triangles, small, large, and they both have the same measure of the angles, and I don't know what they are, but I know by that rule of alternate interior angles, they have to be the same. These things are similar. So let's come up with a similarity statement. We can say triangle ABC is similar to, so A matches up with the one arch, up here, one arch, E, two arches, B is D. And then our missing C has nothing here. We'll put that there. Well, what about that missing, this angle inside? When you have two lines that cross each other, they form something called vertical angles. And I know that those are the same as those. So yes, we share all three angles that are the same. Okay. Um, Bottom one, we have kind of like a triangle within a triangle, small one and a large one. Um, parallel lines again, and again, we have a transversal that cuts through them. So I know that this angle is the same as that. And I know that this angle is the same as that. And by default, here we are, we have two triangles that they have to be similar to each other. So. Let's match these up. I'm going to say, I'm going to start with small. I'm going to say ABC is similar to, so we're going to go ABC. Nope, that is E, sorry. ABE is similar to what's in the same spot as A. A is in the same spot as A. So now let's kind of like take this middle line out and look at the big triangle. A and A are in the same exact spot. Um, so we say A, what's in the B position? C. What's in the E position? D. And we know that because we share two, they're similar, but also both those triangles share that last corner down there, so it also means that they have to be similar. Uh, and that's using the angle-angle similarity postulate.